praise the Lord. I am Anne Karaoke and I thank God this moment. I give God all the glory for the Father that has brought me. And I declare and decree that this is a year that God is going to do us great things. I want us to read the word of God from the book of Isaiah chapter 3 from verse 10 to 11. Um, and the Bible says, Tell the righteous it will be well with them. For they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. O oh, to the wicked, disaster is upon them. They will be paid back for what their hands have done. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, we come before your presence. We are before you, dear Lord, that you may speak to us and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Uh, I want to thank God because of uh, this word that he has given us today and I be believe that God is going to minister to us in a very special way and uh, as we have read this word the Bible talks about the righteous and my topic today is about the righteous and uh, it says that tell the righteous tell the righteous here the servant of God Isaiah was given this message by God because the Bible says that the Israelites or the people of Judah and Jerusalem had sinned against God. They had gone against his will. And it says that they are sinning without shame. They were exposing their sins like Sodom and Gomorrah. And now God was very unhappy with them. He was very mad at them. And he sends this man called Isaiah to go and prophesy to them and he told them that God is not happy with them because of their ways their ways were wicked before God they could sin without shame they were not fearing God they did not care what God is going to do or how he's feeling and God was saying that he is very much offended by these people his own children. And that is why he's sending his servant Isaiah to go and tell them that God is not happy with them. And as we have read, the Bible is telling us that tell the righteous that it shall be well with them because they will reap or they will harvest or they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds whatever good deeds they have done they will enjoy and who are these righteous people god is talking about god is talking about those people who do his will those people who walk in his ways those people who are not thieves and corrupt those people who are not gossipers those people who fear sin those people who fear god those people who do his will those people who are kind to the needy, those people who, sh who show mercy to, so to those that need mercy, those people who do not rebel against God, those people who love others, those people who do not kill others, those people who worship the only and true God. These are the people that God is calling righteous. Those people who do what God wants them to do. And that is why God is saying, tell the righteous, they shall, it shall be well with them because they will reap the good deeds that they do. Whatever good they do, whatever actions, whatever good actions they do, they will reap, they will harvest, they will enjoy their good fruit. Because you can't do something good and enjoy something bad. And that is why God is telling us today, he has come to minister to the righteous. And you see, here we have two categories of people God is talking about. He is talking about the first category of the righteous. And the second category is the, that one of the wicked. And he is saying that the wicked people have made him to be so, so, so angry because they sin against him, against him, they hate him, 
they go against his will, they worship other gods without shame. And that is why he has said that even the wicked have their own verdict. That the wicked, let me, let me read for you, the wicked will be paid back for what their hands have done. So there's a, there's a payment, there is a punishment for the wicked. Those wicked people are those that rebel against God. Those people who kill others carelessly and aimlessly. Those people who are corrupt, those people who are thieves, those people who do not do kind, kind things, those people who are against the will of God, those people who walk in wickedness, those people who love sin, those adulterers, those fornicators, those drunkards, you know, those people who do the wrong things, these are the people that God is referring to as the wicked people. And you know what? If you are a wicked person, you will reap out of what you have been doing. You will be rewarded according to what your deeds requires of you. You know, you can't do good things and receive bad things, bad, 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 bad payment or bad uh, fruit. But if you do bad things, you will be paid or you will be punished according to your deeds. And that's why the word is saying that they will be paid back. So because God is angry, because God is annoyed with these people, he is going to repay them. And he says he is going to withdraw their supplies and the support he has been giving them. Can you imagine God withdrawing his support, God cutting off the supplies, you know, the, 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 the support that he's been giving you. Where can you be? What can you do? Where can you go? Where can you run to? You have no God to run to. You have nowhere to run to. You are just empty. So, my dear friend, my dear brother, my dear sister, this is a challenge to each one of us. And it's a time we, we ask ourselves, where do we belong? Because there are two categories. Where do you belong? Where do I belong? Do I belong to the category of the wicked? Or do I belong to the category of the righteous? And you know what? This message today is about the righteous. Because the Lord is saying, tell the righteous that it shall be well with them. And you know, my friend, you can jump ship. You can jump from this side of the wicked and come to the side of the righteous. And when you come to the side of the righteous, you will receive blessings from the Almighty God. That means... Because God is going to be kind to you, because God is going to pay you for what your good deeds have done or are, you are going to prosper in everything that you do. That means because God is on your side, whatever business you are going to start, God is going to make it grow. Because you are enjoying the fruit of your deeds. So if you do good things and you are righteous before God, Whatever you put your hands on, God will bless it. If you start a house, God will bless you. If you want to buy a plot, God will give you money to, to buy it. If you want to do something, God is going to help you to do it. If you want to go somewhere, like if you want a visa to go to the U.S. to, to go to, to any country abroad, if you are the righteous one of God, God is going to pay you. You are going to enjoy the good things that you've been doing. You have been doing the will of God. You have been walking in his ways. And in return, he's coming to pay you. And you are going to enjoy the fruit of your obedience to God. That means, if you want to keep livestock, they are going to multiply because we serve a God of multiplication. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless your hands. God is going to bless everything that you put your hands on. Because he is going to make you, he is going to cause you, enjoy the fruit of your good deeds. My friends today, I don't know where you want to be. I don't know which side you are going to choose. But I would rather you choose the righteous side. 
Because that is where you're going to go to get blessings from God. But if you want to remain on the side of the wicked, God is swearing and he is saying that he is going to pay you back. Can you imagine God paying you back for evil that you have done? You think God is going to, you know, to pay you with good things? No. He is going to pay you back with punishment. But I want to thank God today because there is a chance for everyone. There is a chance for you to make a choice of crossing to the other side. There is a choice for you to make to come to Jesus Christ. Because what separates us from God, it's on a sin. And when you decide and you make up your mind and you say that you are going to live the wicked ways, you're going to live the, the, the evil ways. You want to follow Jesus. You want to do the things of God. You want to follow what God wants you to do. And you want to walk in the ways of God. You are going to be welcome on the side of the righteous. And you know it is very simple. It is just a matter of making up your mind and deciding to follow Jesus. And if you want to follow Jesus today, he will make you righteous. The message today is, tell the righteous. Is this message for you or for someone else? Is this message going to touch your life? Is it going to affect you? Is it impacting you? Where are you, my friend? Where are you, my brother? Which side are you? Are you going to jump ship and come to Christ? To the side of the righteous? If you are there, I would love to pray with you. Because this message is for you. And this message is for me. I have come to tell you that it shall be well with the righteous. It's my prayer that you decide, that you make up your mind to cross to the side of the righteous. So that you may enjoy the good things that God is going to do to the righteous. The promises that God is promising for the righteous. May they be your portion. May the blessings of the righteous be your portion. May the goodness of the Lord, may the mercies of the Lord be your portion. If at all you are going to jump ship and come to the side of the righteous. It is a promise that God is giving us that it shall be well. It doesn't matter how it has been. Maybe you have been going through a lot of hell. Maybe you have gone through a lot of problems. Maybe even now, you are going through a lot of tough, tough, tough moments. I, come, I have come to assure you. I have come to encourage you. I have come to declare to you that it shall be well with you. As long as you are the righteous one of the Lord. May God help us. May God help us to make a, a choice. May God help us to make up our minds to be on the side of the righteous so that it can be well with us. Because if we are, we, we are on the side of God, he shall continue supplying to us. He is not going to cut off the supplies and the support he has been giving us. But if we are on the other side of the wicked, God has declared that he is going to cut off the supplies and the support he has been giving you. May God help us. May God help each one of us. May we go back and re-examine ourselves and see where we have gone wrong and make a point of coming back to God. If you are there, God is willing to accept you back. If you are there and you have been on the side of the wicked, God is very much willing to welcome you back home. Are you there? Are you willing to do it today? Are you willing to change from being wicked and being righteous? Are you there? Do you want to receive Christ as your personal savior? You may pray this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I am a sinner. I have decided to follow you. Forgive me my sins. And from now, henceforth, I am your child. In Jesus' name, I pray and give thanks. Amen. Father, I thank you for anyone who has prayed this prayer. 
I want to thank you because I know you have saved them. May you keep them and sustain them. All of us, Jehovah Father, we need your mercies. Have mercy on us, dear Lord, and make us righteous before you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and give thanks. Amen.